Mallorca. The very word conjures images of azure waters, sun-drenched beaches, and a life of blissful ease. That's exactly what Steph Jerkel and Peggy Jarofke, stars of the hit show Goodbye Deutschland, envisioned when they embarked on their Spanish adventure. They, along with their adorable daughter Josephine, traded the familiar rhythm of Germany for the intoxicating allure of the Mediterranean. They poured their hearts, souls and life savings into Sharky's, a beach bar restaurant that promised sun, fun and a taste of paradise. Little did they know, their Mallorcan dream was about to take a dark and unexpected turn. For a while, life was good. The sun shone, the sangria flowed, and Sharky's became a bustling hub for tourists and locals alike. Laughter mingled with the sound of waves crashing on the shore. Steph, with his infectious grin and playful demeanor, charmed the customers. Peggy, the ever-competent businesswoman, kept things running smoothly. And little Josephine, their ray of sunshine, brought joy to everyone she met. But behind the idyllic facade, a storm was brewing. A storm that threatened to shatter their dreams and leave their lives in ruins. How quickly can paradise turn into a nightmare? It started subtly. A flat tire here, a scratched door there. Annoying, yes, but easily dismissed as bad luck. But then it escalated. The vandalism became more brazen, more sinister. Tires slashed, windows smashed, and their cars doused in paint. Fear became a constant companion, casting a long shadow over their once carefree lives. Who would do such a thing? And why? The questions gnawed at them, turning their days into a paranoid blur and their nights into sleepless torment. Then came the threats, whispered words in the dead of night, menacing messages scrawled on their front door. The threats escalated from vandalism to something far more sinister murder. The police were called, reports were filed, but the perpetrators remained elusive. Living under a cloud of fear and uncertainty, Steph and Peggy were forced to confront a terrifying reality. Their lives were in danger. The Mallorcan dream had transformed into a terrifying nightmare. Was this the work of jealous competitors threatened by Sharky's success? The relentless attacks took a heavy toll on Sharky's. The once vibrant restaurant, filled with laughter and the aroma of sizzling seafood, became shrouded in an unsettling quiet. Tourists, alarmed by the rumors of sabotage and threats, stayed away. Locals, fearful of being caught in the crosshairs, whispered amongst themselves, but offered little help. Steph and Peggy, their faces etched with worry, struggled to keep the business afloat. But the financial strain, coupled with the constant fear, became an unbearable burden. The joy had vanished, replaced by a bone-deep weariness. They realized, with heavy hearts, that they could not expose their daughter to this toxic environment any longer. A heartbreaking decision was made. Sharkies, their dream, their livelihood, would have to close its doors. The symbol of their Mallorcan adventure was now a painful reminder of all they had lost. How could Steph and Peggy shield their daughter from the darkness that had enveloped their lives? Children are remarkably perceptive, absorbing the emotions of those around them like little sponges. Josephine, their sweet, innocent daughter, was no exception. The once carefree child, who had greeted each day with infectious laughter, now wore a worried frown. The fear, palpable in their home, had seeped into her young soul. She had nightmares, cried often, and withdrew into herself. Her once bright eyes, reflecting the azure Mallorcan sky, now held a haunted look. Seeing their daughter suffer was the final blow for Steph and Peggy. 
they realized that no amount of sunshine or sangria could compensate for the emotional toll this ordeal was taking on their precious daughter. They had to escape the clutches of fear that had gripped their lives. But where could they go? Could they ever reclaim the carefree, joyful child Josephine once was? Section 5 Farewell to the villa. A glimmer of hope emerges. Desperate for a fresh start, Steph and Peggy made the difficult decision to sell their beloved villa. The house, once a symbol of their hopes and dreams, now felt stifling, a constant reminder of the nightmare they had endured. But finding a buyer in a market saturated with properties proved to be an uphill battle. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months, and still the villa remained unsold. Their savings dwindled, their anxieties soared, and the threat of financial ruin loomed large. Just when their hope began to dwindle, a flicker of light emerged. A potential buyer, intrigued by the villa's charm and undeterred by the rumours, made an offer. Could this be their ticket to freedom? Would selling the villa be enough to provide the fresh start they so desperately craved? Section 6. Finca Fantasies, A New Beginning As the sale of the villa inched closer to completion, Steph and Peggy dared to dream of a brighter future. They yearned for peace, tranquility and a safe haven for their daughter. Their search led them away from the bustling tourist traps and towards the heart of the island. There, nestled amidst rolling hills and verdant vineyards, they discovered a different side to Mallorca, a side where life moved at a slower pace, where the air was thick with the scent of orange blossoms and where the only sounds were the gentle rustling of leaves and the distant bleating of sheep. Fincas, traditional Mallorcan farmhouses, captured their imagination. They envisioned Josephine running barefoot through fields of wildflowers a content smile gracing her face once more. Could this be the answer to their prayers? Could a finca provide the sanctuary they so desperately sought? Would trading the vibrant coastal life for the tranquility of the countryside be the answer to their problems? Section 7. The Future Unfolds Will happiness prevail? The sale of the villa finally went through injecting a much-needed financial boost and a surge of cautious optimism. They poured their energy into finding the perfect finca, one that spoke to their souls and promised a safe and nurturing environment for Josephine. Days were spent exploring winding country roads, visiting charming villages and viewing countless properties, each promising in its own way, but none feeling quite right. The search, though exhausting, became a journey of healing. The fresh air, the slower pace of life, and the sheer beauty of the Mallorcan countryside worked their magic. Laughter returned to their home, and Josephine, surrounded by nature and animals, began to blossom once more. But could they outrun the shadows of the past? Will the peace and tranquility of the countryside be enough to heal the wounds of the past? Section 8 Goodbye Deutschland, Hello New Adventures As they settled into their new life, a question lingered in the air. Would they stay in Mallorca, the island that had brought them both joy and heartache? Or would they say goodbye Deutschland once more and seek their fortune elsewhere? The decision weighed heavily on their minds. Mallorca, despite its challenges, held a special place in their hearts. It was where Josephine had taken her first steps, where they had celebrated triumphs and weathered storms, where they had learned the true meaning of resilience. But the